so grades are final on Thursday. That's the end of the quarter. So that means any makeups have to be done by then. Any late work has to be passed in by then. Nothing will be made up or accepted after Thursday. I will be here tomorrow morning and Thursday morning. I already have a couple of students coming tomorrow. Okay, I'll be here by 7. If you're planning to retake a test, you need to be here by 7 because tests take a while. Okay, I'll be here, out there, and I'll let you in and go. If you have makeup work you want to hand in, you can do that during lunchtime. You have to come first thing in the morning. If you want to walk down when you get here on the bus or have your mom drop you off at 7.30, just walk down here and we'll get all your makeup work um, put into the grade book. Okay, but just remember that that is closed on Thursday. Our um, unit test is next week. Okay, that's a pretty big test. Probably take a day and a half. Um, that will be one of your first grades in quarter two. So, boys, playing basketball, that test will rock your like grade if you don't do well. If you bomb it, you'll be ineligible for sure. Okay? So I, I tell you that. So study, study, start studying, start looking over your notes. Make sure you do the review. When I give you the review tomorrow, do that review. I want you to do well. But it is a hard exam. It's a unit test. They're, they're a little bit more difficult than the investigation tests. Is there a little question? It will, part of it will be. Right? It'll be like our first one that we took where you have like part on the computer, part handwritten. Um, any questions about that? I'll have all the part of tests in the grade book tonight so you can see that. Okay? So you know how well you did on that. Um, and then, of course, if you don't like that, you have to coordinate with your partner at least to show up and get that done Thursday. Okay. So... Today, um, I can solve multiple step integer problems by applying the order of operations. A lot of mathematical terms there. So let's talk about them. Um, what's an integer? What's an integer? Integer. Integer. Number that you can turn into a fraction. Close. That's a ra rational number. That's good, though. I got some kids thinking. More hands just went up. Okay, it is a whole number, okay, but what else is it? Yep, it's a whole number and it's opposite, okay? So seven, you love that, don't you? It's a seven and negative seven. This is one and negative one. So it's number and it's opposites. We're not trying to today solve multiple step problems with rational numbers, although I... I do put a couple in there towards the end of your practice because um, that obviously makes it a lot more difficult when it's a rational number. What about, um, so we got multiple step. What does that mean? Someone give me an example of it. Anthony, what's a multiple step problem? Uh, like a problem with more than one part. Like tell me. Uh, like 3 plus 2 times 6 plus 4. Good. Yeah, 3, three plus 2 times 6. So you got to do the times 6 first. Then you gotta add the two. Then of course you have to add the three. So that's that's three steps. That's a three-step problem. So that's kind of what we're looking at today. But we're talking about order of operations. Carl, order of operations. What are they? PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Please, excuse e please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay. Um, so we're looking at that today. That was part of our warm-up. You should have read about it. This is what I'd like you to do. Talk to your partner, okay? And remember, when we go to talk, you guys have been really growing in how you talk. If I'm listening and I respond, there are things that I can say. What did you mean? Another way I thought about it was, um, so what I think you're saying is, these are ways that you can respond back. Here are some things that I could also say. I noticed that. I agree. I disagree. So keep growing on how we have a conversation, a dialogue. Talk to your partner about one and two.
Ben. I agree. Be- Thank you. Bam, Anthony, love it. Scarlet and Ben, you guys done? And twenty. Well, so I disagree because because like it. No, but this is 115 times 20. So 15 times 20 equals 300. So 100 plus this equals 300. Okay, Jaden, come back here. Who was right? You say Pedro. Ooh. Why was David wrong? Nice, Jaden. Yeah. You can't add before you multiply. Okay? And that's what David did, right? He took 100 and added 15 and then multiplied by 20. Doesn't work that way. That Those would be like the most expensive shirts on the planet. Okay? How much did they come up to? It was like... Yeah. That seems like a lot of money for t-shirts. So, yeah, he's going to make 20 t-shirts at $15 a piece. You've got to multiply that, and then you add the 100 setup fee gets added to that. So um, make sure you have that down. Make sure and explain what the mistake was made. Don't and refer to PEMDAS. Don't just say he didn't follow PEMDAS. Mm-mm. Yeah, what it is, like exactly like Jaden said. He should have... Multiply first before adding. That was a great way to say that, Jaden. Problem 52, guys. We're going to work on this all the way till Monday. Um, now, some, I have some pretty good intuition around problems. I can tell you that problem 52, I don't know why, but I have a sneaking suspicion there's going to be something kind of close to it on the unit test. I wonder why. So I would really spend some time making sure you get through your warm-up and you get to 52. And, yeah, you're not going to finish it in one day. Okay, You're not going to be able to, like, finish it in one sitting, but you should be working on it. Hint, hint, hint. Take, you take, you take, take hints, Jay. <laughs> that was too many. So you're like, I'm not doing it. Yeah. He's false advertising. Um, so anyway, keep that piece of paper and work on it this week all the way till Monday, okay? Next. Wait. I get it. 52 on page 90. Yep, 52 on page 90. All right, guys. Um. This is what I'd like you to do. Please get your notes out for today. They should be in your learning tab. So everyone turn to your notes. 4.1 properties of operations. Yep, yep. And that's going to go in your learning today, Josh. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, third hour... Um, during third hour, Jay, I noticed where we were making most of the errors. Okay? And most of the errors that were happening today were down here. It wasn't that they were, they were like, you know, doing addition before multiplication. I'm sorry, doing addition before multiplication. It was that when we added... Negatives, we weren't adding negatives right. We weren't subtracting negatives right. We weren't subtracting positives right. So this is what I need you guys to do today. Last hour did a way, way better job. When you get to the last step of PEMDAS, okay, which is addition and subtraction, 
This is the last step, this blue step. We do these left to right. These two, that's why they're in blue. When you get there, use this chart. Okay? Use the chart. That chart's really going to help you guys make the right decision. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? You guys, what, what's up with you? Likes Vanessa. Likes Vanessa. It's not you, huh? No. <laughs> it's totally it's Vanessa. Mostly on me. Totally Vanessa. All right. Um, parentheses or brackets, first step. Second step, exponents. What do we know about exponents? Ooh, graph. We did it today, right? Fourth hour. What do we know about exponents? But what, what does it mean? What does it mean? It's, uh, wait, sorry. Uh, the, the thing is next to the, uh, num, the whole thing. Right? 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 Wow. We're going to Rachel on this one. Yeah. Okay. So it's, um, it's the power, it's basically the power that you're multiplying. So you multiply. That's your time that you're multiplying by. You have your you have your base number, which is the bigger number, and then you have your smaller number, which is the exponent, which you're timesing by the original the base number by itself. Nice. So, so I take that number and I multiply it by itself that many times. So it's not like if I have this, if I have if I have four. Squared, that does not mean 4 times 2, Jay, right? This means 4 times 4. It means 4 times itself 2 times. So, that's, we take the base number, we multiply it by the power, okay, the exponent, and then that's what we get. So, that's exponents. Next, this is what I need you guys to understand here. Multiplication, division, you do not do multiplication first. You do whatever is left first. So if division's first, you do the division first. Then, if multiplying is next, then you multiply. But you don't do multiplication before division. You do these at the same time from left to right. That's why on this poster, guys, they're both in black. The, this step happens at the same time left to right. If division is first, like the example, 6 divided by 2 times 4 divided by 4, I don't do this first, I do this first. Then I multiply by 4, then I divide by 4. So this goes left to right. Subtraction and addition are the same thing. Compute left to right. So again, addition isn't the first thing in this problem. It's subtraction. So I do that first because 10 minus 5 is 5, plus 2, minus 1, plus 6. So you see I'm going left to right. And that is how multiplication and division work and addition and subtraction work. Today, with our I can statement about using integers, okay, we need to make sure that we're we're cluing into what negative, what is negative, and what is not. And when we're multiplying, use your chart for multiplying. And when we add and subtract negatives, use that chart as well. Go ahead and talk to your partner about the practice. First practice, go. All right, so on this problem, pretty straightforward. There are no parentheses. There are no exponents. So now I go to multiplication and division. There is multiplication. So I must do that first. Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Now I rewrite. You notice I'm taking it one step at a time. I rewrite it. Now I have no multiplication or division. So I do addition and subtraction from left to right. So I start off by going 5 minus 
negative 24. Subtracting a negative is like adding a, adding a positive. So this is actually 5 plus 24. That's 29. And then 29 plus negative 3, adding a negative is like subtracting a positive. That's I go back towards 0, so I get 26 equals x. Here's your a little bit more of a challenge. Because this says exponents as well as brackets and parentheses. Go for it. Try it with your partner. Oh, I like it, Chris. You just got a lot of practice today, though. I've known this since since the beginning of time. Okay. Parentheses. Well, yeah. There's actually this. You got these parentheses right there, right? Yes. So you got to do that first. Nice. He likes Vanessa. Hey, make sure you're doing the work on your paper. Because that's how you look back and so you can figure out what you're doing, Scarlett. Take it once. I love what Jay's doing. Jay's doing it one step at a time, and he's rocking it. This is multiplication. It's a negative 3 minus negative 6, which means subtracting a negative is like... Adding a positive. So it's negative 3 plus 6. 9. Nope. Ready, look. Negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you get three as your answer. Negative minus a negative is a... Where did you get negative minus a negative? Positive. That would be three. Negative three. Positive three right here. Yeah. Five times five times five times five. Five times five is 25. Times five. 125 times five, 625. That is what I got. Boom. The power of four, five. You get 625? Times five. Times five. Coming in. Yeah. You guys got it. It's 1,250. Good. 625. Good. You're doing good. Now just keep working on it. Now you got 625 times two. It doesn't have to right now. here so first step Scarlett what's the first step I got to do first step parentheses so I got negative 3 minus negative 6 subtracting negative is like adding a positive I get a positive 3 for inside my parentheses. So then I go to the exponent. So I just bring down the 3. Then I go to this exponent. I don't have any other parentheses, but I do have an exponent. That means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. It's quite a bit. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. 125 times 5 is 625. So now I've got this 625. So then I just write the rest of the problem. I got 625 times 2 plus 4. So now I look through this and I say there's no parentheses, no exponents. I do division and multiplication left to right. So I go, I start on the left, I go to the right, boom, I got multiplication. 
I got to do that first. So I go 625 times 2, I get 1,250. I keep going, no other multiplication or division. So now I go to my last step of PEMDAS. Addition and subtraction, left to right. So I go 3 plus 1,250 is 1,253, plus 4 more, 1,257. Hey, your job for today. Um, we're going to be using PEMDAS a bunch. And remember, this was my caution. Out of third hour and sixth hour, addition and subtraction, use the chart. Kids weren't making. They were doing a great job here, great job here. But then they were adding negatives and positives. They were doing this part wrong. So just slow down. Use the chart. The chart will anchor you and help help you do it correctly. So today, here's your work. B1, B2, B3, uh, B4, B6. Follow the board. Okay, because I am giving you the, um, the kind of like the more, mellow. more mellower questions. Right yeah, and use the back of your paper. I think I just made up a word. Awesome. Yeah, you can work with your partner. Ah. Yes, you did. Bam. Both those answers are correct. Wait. 
Okay, good. We did B1, B2, and now we're not doing three. We're supposed to be B1, B2, and B3, B4, and B6. No, B3. Okay. 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 So B4. Okay. And for this one, we're going to do one first. Three plus four. Three plus two? Wait, B4. Yeah, B4. Eight plus times. Then eight plus two. Parentheses first. Times itself twice. Uh, so it's five times five. Plus three. So first, I got a multiplication kind of five equals negative eight times four minus five equals negative eight. All right. Is that one? Wait. Okay. Wait. Four minus one. Four minus five. Four minus five. Four minus five. Oh, yeah, you do it. You can get plus four. Yeah, you want you got one and a half twos on the outside. So I go three plus two is five. Five squared. Carl! Carl! She hasn't needed any help from you. Yeah, 150 minus one would be I feel like if you were a cartoon character, you'd have to stick Yeah. I can't believe you did this. Oh, you were so close, guys. Look, 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 look. Wait, I just had a This, this, this is... Oh, you're not quite like five. Look. How many? It's close. 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 There's three, but there's also a line in that one. Yeah, that's not Okay, what are you asking about this? Is this one or negative one? Negative one. Because you have a positive minus another positive, that positive is bigger. Negative one times negative one times negative one. You have a look. Times one equals one. Negative one times negative one times negative one. How many negatives are there? Three. Three negative factors make a negative answer.
No, you went three plus two. Oh, no, it wasn't right. It was, it was all of them. Did you do five? Five times five. Not, five, not times that's going to happen. Times itself. Just like you told me earlier. I said the negative shoulder shirt. Dude. Oh, we were right. Um, yeah, you're 23. Is this one over here? 29. 28. I found the answer right. Yay! Yeah. 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 So this is going to equal 4, negative 28 plus 4. Then you add, right? The last thing you do is addition and subtraction. You are He's singing the Friends theme song and saying it's pretty cool. Not a bad guy. Oh, I am Negative one times negative one times negative one, which equals negative one.
can't say, I'm dominant both hands. Okay, well then, I'm good at writing in three. I'm ambidextrous. I write, eat, no. It's like a... I write a Oh, wait, wait, wait. Divided by eight. Eight Why do you think I'm so bad? I eat. 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 I e
anywhere faster. So now, again, I don't add yet. I go, next thing, I have to multiply 10 times 3. 30. 30. And then on the end here, I have 6 divided by 3. What's that? 2. Plus 2. So I'm finally done all of the multiplication and division left to right. So now I do addition and subtraction, left to right. 33. 33 minus 49 plus 2. So 33 minus 49, is that going to be a positive or negative? Negative. negative. And it's going to be a negative? 16. So I go negative 16 plus a positive 2 equals a negative 14. I told you guys it wasn't that difficult, but it does practice those steps. It took us like three minutes. It doesn't take forever, but it's the fun. All right, guys. Hey, please remember I'm here tomorrow morning and on Thursday morning. And those are your last chances to take any tests. All right.